This legendary Joan of Arc Prime is fake. It's fake and I will prove it to you later in this video, but we do have to talk about legendary Joan of Arc Prime because apparently she is coming to the game despite this not being it. And I might be crazy, okay, but I actually might be partially responsible for Lilith telling us that we're getting a legendary Joan of Arc Prime. So just stay tuned. We have a lot to talk about. First of all, what's going on guys? Cheers. So today I woke up and I had a bunch of notifications over on Discord. People were saying that the official Rise of Kingdoms Japanese Twitter account has revealed that Joan of Arc Prime is actually coming to Rise of Kingdoms. Now at first I was like, oh my God, what have I done? It's been weeks and weeks of people sharing this image saying that this is proof that we're getting Joan of Arc Prime. And since I posted my video with this in the thumbnail, I have gotten every couple of days somebody reaching out to me saying hey look Joan of Arc Prime is coming or I've seen it floating around various discords and different posts on Facebook and things like that and I made this image okay and I'm gonna prove it to you later in the video so when I woke up today and people were saying we're getting Joan of Arc Prime I'm like oh my god when is this going to end when am I going to stop getting messages about her I even posted on my community page a few weeks ago or maybe like a week ago saying that the image was fake and then I looked into it a little bit more and as it turns out the official rise of kingdoms Japanese Twitter account did in fact reveal a ton of new information which was already covered in depth in Chiskel's video go ahead and check out Chiskel gaming if you guys haven't already I'm sure I'm sure you've seen him he's the biggest rise of kingdoms content creator so I'm not going to go over everything here however the TLDR is that they're working on ranged combat they're working on new KVK modes one of which is a 3v3 they're going to be implementing more prime commanders uh, all of the epic commanders most likely will get a prime eventually and they're also working on a new game and uh I think that's everything this was shared across uh, a couple of different pictures here you can go through and Google translate it if you want to see uh what it says in English or again check out Chiskel's video but when I saw this I was like wait a minute hang on this is actually real this is actually happening this is a verified account this is actually Lilith revealing this information now one thing I want to talk about with Joan of Arc Prime is that we don't actually know when she's going to be coming into the game they did not say that Joan of Arc Prime is going to be one of the next leadership commanders is it possible sure they just said that she's in development and that we should be seeing her soon that does not mean she's in the next cycle it just means she's going to be coming eventually now again they also said or at least they hinted at the order with which the prime commanders are going to be coming into the game is going to be similar to the order that you see the civilizations here on the bottom so we already know we've gotten CPO we already know we've gotten Boudicca so if we're going to follow that order then France is next now obviously they skipped Germany so it's possible that this upcoming leadership cycle will have Herman Prime which that's completely possible pancake pancake The dang dog is scratching out the door but again it, it didn't say that it was exactly going to follow this order so we could be seeing Joan of Arc next who knows but none of that really matters what I want to know is that why would they reveal to us in this post that Joan of Arc Prime is going to be coming you know by the time this video comes out maybe the English channel has already revealed that you know she's going to be the next one I have no idea but why why would they say Joan of Arc Prime is coming why wouldn't they just say that all epic commanders are going to be getting a prime why did they specifically say Joan of Arc well um I I think and again this could just be my ego or my main character syndrome I don't know okay but I think it has something to do with this picture that I made because ever since I made it it's been going around the community like wildfire and I can imagine that those that are answering your questions when you reach out to customer support 
I'm sure they've gotten a million messages asking about this image. A lot of people were fooled by this, apparently. And I said in my video that it wasn't real. I said that I, it, it's, it's not, it's not confirmed. It was just something that I wanted to happen. And I just made this as the thumbnail because it's clickbait. I'm, I'm, a, I'm that's what I do here. Okay. But it doesn't matter. People screenshotted it and they ran with it. So I think that by making this image and having it spread around the community, like wildfire, I think I forced Lilith to acknowledge Joan of Arc prime. That's my theory, because again, I just don't know why they would specifically say Joan of Arc prime is eventually going to come into the game when all they really had to do was say all the epics are going to get a prime. That's all they had to say that would imply Joan of Arc by default, but they went out of their way to say that Joan of Arc specifically is going to be coming soon. And you could say, oh, well, it's because Joan of Arc is popular and like, yeah, but so is Sun Tzu. I think more people probably want a Sun Tzu prime than a Joan of Arc prime. So I don't think that really holds weight. I literally think it's because the entire community has been sharing that image and everyone's been talking about it and they've probably gotten the most questions about a legendary Joan of Arc. However, I feel a little bit silly because in my live stream the other day, I defended myself saying that Joan of Arc prime is fake, right? And if you guys were in that live stream, you're probably thinking, oh my God, OmniArc is so stupid. We've been telling him for weeks now that these leaks are real. And now Lilith has confirmed that Joan of Arc Prime is coming. So OmniArc's an idiot. And so I feel like I have to prove to you guys that I made this. And that's how I know that this is not Joan of Arc Prime. Okay. This is where I got the picture of Joan of Arc. Okay. And I made a couple of alterations to it in order to make it look a little bit better in the actual avatar frame and in the thumbnail so i used photoshop and i cropped out just joan of arc then i went and had the image upscaled because it was a horrible version of the image so this looks a lot better in the thumbnail i actually uh, i cut off part of her hair here and i changed her eyes to blue make her head a little bit flatter on the top because it looked really big in the icon and i just think blue eyes pop a little bit more in the thumbnail then i opened it all up in photoshop okay here's the little p icon that i ripped out of the game here is her head this is the actual frame here. You can see her body and you can see the orange background. Okay. That's that's it. All right. And you can see uh, in my computer over here that the date this was created, this Joan of Arc prime uh, Photoshop file was July 21st. Okay. So I created that exactly three weeks ago today at the time of recording this video. And in that time by some miracle, I, I think my prediction was right or at the very least the hype that the image generated caused them to acknowledge that eventually i will be right i i don't know I, am i crazy i really need you guys to tell me in the comment section below do you think that me making this image has anything to do with lilith acknowledging that joan of arc is going to come into the game because again they acknowledge joan of arc specifically and i just i feel like this image is part of it you guys can let me know if i'm an ego andy if i have main character syndrome if i'm if i'm out of my mind or if do you, do you think that there's there's something to it because this image has been everywhere but i do want to remind you guys that they did not say that she would be one of the leadership commanders again maybe she is and maybe by the time this video goes out it will be confirmed or denied I don't know but we don't actually know anything about her skills or her talent trees or anything like that because everything besides what was said on the official rise of kingdoms Twitter account is fake I've already proven to you that the image is fake and therefore you know that if somebody claims to know the skills of Joan of Arc Prime then it's also fake because well because they claimed it was real before it was even acknowledged by Lilith you see how the timeline just it wouldn't be possible just just trust me on this one okay we don't know anything about Joan of Arc Prime it was sort of just a lucky guess on my part I suppose or maybe my power of deduction is just so good here's what I think okay because I got in trouble for like allegedly leaking information uh, uh from Lilith okay and again I do I do Lilith if you're watching I do apologize about that but I feel like I've transcended to a new level I feel like I am I am my deduction skills and my understanding of the game is is so good at this point that i can predict what's coming next before it's even leaked <laughs> it's like i have a third eye into lilith's office and i can tell you ah yes i know what's gonna come 
it's Joan of Arc Prime. Yes, of course. It's like I got, I got in trouble for the leaks and I just sat down and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to figure that shit out all on my own then. That way it's not a leak, but it's accurate anyway. Uh, guys, this is, this whole thing is, is really funny to me. I want to know your thoughts in the comments section below. Are you excited to know that all the epics are going to be getting a prime version or do you not like the prime commanders? I personally think prime commanders are fine. I think a lot of commanders that are epic commanders need that resurgence and need that that new fresh coat of paint. And as long as they're going to keep redesigning their models and giving them new skills and everything, I feel like that's totally cool. And so I am a fan of that, but I know that not everyone feels the same way as me guys. If there's one thing you learned in this video, it's that if you want to know what's coming to rise of kingdoms before everybody else, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video. And also I've been getting people asking me how they can catch one of my live streams uh, I live stream sporadically I do not have a schedule sometimes I'll go months without live streaming so the only way you're gonna know if I'm live is if you just happen to be online at that time or if you join my discord in the description below or you subscribe with the bell turned on you can also follow me over on Twitch because when I live stream I'm live streaming on both platforms simultaneously with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here of course go ahead and subscribe and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace